crown of snow has since pushed off to the east. Radar and satellite picking up on the last of the snow, continuing to push closer to the Great Lakes region. Here's Omaha, we're in for a little bit more peaks of sunshine, and that's going to help really melt off anything we receive on the roadways out there, especially on those residential areas that wasn't able to get treated all throughout the past six hours. Just a little bit more cloud coverage off to the west, but the big headline for this afternoon will be the stronger winds, not only for this afternoon, all throughout the evening and overnight. Impact weather for the day. We're looking at wind speeds ranging anywhere between 20 to 28, sometimes gusting as high as 35 miles an hour. You add on the single digits, guys, we're in for some dangerous wind chills, especially as we head deeply throughout the evening and overnight. Speaking of which, starting at 6 o'clock, we have a wind chill advisory that will be lasting until noon tomorrow for most of our counties, meaning we can have field like temperatures approaching 10 to even 20 degrees below zero. That is what it will feel like on your doorsteps, even for your evening drive and for your morning drive throughout Tuesday and the early Wednesday. So here it is. Storm predictor is tracking those wind chills all throughout the overnight. Around daybreak tomorrow, everyone will be feeling the extremely dangerously cold temperatures and the wind chills ranging anywhere between uh, 14 to 21 below zero. So bundle up, bring out the layers, kids heading to the bus stops. It may be a morning. They may, may need to carpool just to get to their destination safely because frostbite will be possible to any exposed skin as little as 30 minutes. By tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at partly cloudy skies, a high of 17 degrees, 18 in Lincoln. We're looking at a high of 20 degrees, mostly sunny skies. And Beatrice, Wednesday is quiet. It's all about Thursday. We're tracking our next round of light to moderate snow. This is Thursday in the morning. Could start off a little bit early or a little bit uh, later on into the afternoon, but lasting all throughout the second half of Thursday into early Friday before clearing out and how much snow we're talking about. Again, light to moderate bands of snow, a little bit long lasting. We could get a solid inch higher amounts for our far northeasternmost communities near Tacoma, Atlantic and Carroll could see closer to one and a half to two inches of snow by the time we wake up for early Friday morning. So here's what we're looking at all throughout midweek, bitterly cold temperatures lasting all throughout midweek, a high of only 19 for your Thursday. Snow ends 25 for your Friday, but warming up into the 40s by Saturday with a ton of sunshine on the way. And for weather updates anytime, download the KTV mobile app. Interact